గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ ఉదయ భాస్కర్ పట్టపు అసోసియేట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ అండ్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ బేస్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ అండ్ సైన్సెస్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గివింగ్ ద టాపిక్ సిగ్నల్స్ అండ్ సిస్టమ్స్ సబ్జెక్ట్ సో ద టాపిక్ ఇస్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ టెక్నిక్స్ ఓకే ద టాపిక్ ఇస్ ద ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ టెక్నిక్స్ సో ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ టెక్నిక్స్ జన అండ్ లాప్లస్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్స్ అండ్ జెడ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్స్ సపోజ్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద నీడ్ ఫర్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ ఎనీ ఆఫ్ ది సిగ్నల్ ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ టీ కన్వర్టెడ్ టు ఇన్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ డొమైన్ ద ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇస్ టైన్ డొమైన్ సిగ్నల్ టు కన్వర్టెడ్ టు ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ డొమైన్ వన్స్ సిగ్నల్ ఇస్ కన్వర్టెడ్ టు ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ డొమైన్ సో లాట్స్ ఆఫ్ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ ఇస్ దేర్ సో వీ కెన్ ఎస్టిమేట్ ది సిగ్నల్ స్ట్రెంత్ వీ కెన్ ఎస్టిమేట్ ది పవర్ స్పెక్ట్రం డెన్సిటీ వీ కెన్ ఎస్టిమేట్ ది ఎనర్జీ స్పెక్ట్రల్ డెన్సిటీ ఆఫ్ ది సిగ్నల్ అండ్ ఆల్సో సిగ్నల్ కంప్రెషన్ అండ్ ఆల్సో సిగ్నల్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ పవర్ లెవెల్స్ సో వీ కెన్ ఎస్టిమేట్ ది ఆల్ ది అట్టే టెక్నిక్స్ సో ఈవెన్ ఇన్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఆల్సో సో ఇన్ మాడ్యులేషన్ ప్రాసెస్ ఇన్ మాడ్యులేషన్ ప్రాసెస్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ షిఫ్టింగ్ ప్రాపర్టీ ఆల్సో యూజ్ సో ద ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ షిఫ్టింగ్ హియర్ యూజింగ్ ద ఫోర్ ఇయర్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్స్ సపోజ్ ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ కి సిగ్నల్ ఇస్ కన్వర్టెడ్ టు ఫోర్ ఇయర్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ దట్ ఈస్ ద ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఒమేగా దట్ మీన్స్ టైన్ డొమైన్ సిగ్నల్ ఇస్ కన్వర్టెడ్ టు ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ డొమైన్ సో ఫోర్ ఇయర్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ four year transforms so x of t is the signal x of t is the signal this is the time domain signal so we are applying the four year transforms four year transform the output is converted to x of omega x of time domain signal is converted to frequency domain so which signal is applicable to transform this signal so so all the time domain signals not possible to convert the frequency domain so these have some conditions also there those conditions are dirichlet's conditions those conditions are dirichlet's conditions the dirichlet's conditions are so x of t signal must follow the dirichlet's conditions so dirichlet's condition first one is the modulus of x of t modulus of x of t integration of minus infinity to infinity area of the that signal must be converged so this is the first dirichlet's conditions so signal is transformed to frequency domain or signal is applied to fourier transform first condition satisfied the so this is the necessary conditions integration of minus infinity to infinity modulus of x of t dt less than infinity that means signal must be converge signal must be converge second one second one is the in finite interval time in infinite interval signals having the maximum amplitude maximum amplitude so that means signal having signal having signal having the finite maximums and minimums finite maximum and minimum value next third one is the signal having the finite number of discontinuities in a given period signal having finite number of discontinuities signal having finite number of discontinuities so these three conditions are necessary conditions to transform this signal so first one is the signal must be converge second one is the given time interval any any time duration signals having the finite maximums and minimums third one is the signal having the finite number of discontinuities so these three conditions are satisfied so the given signal is applicable for the fourier transform next so suppose the x of t is the signal x of t is the signal apply the fourier transform apply the fourier transform the signal is converted into frequency domain so in frequency domain the in, in frequency domain signal having the complex nature that is a real and imaginary part real part and imaginary part signal having the real and imaginary part suppose if you find out the magnitude of the frequency spectrum so this one is the square root of xr square of omega plus 
x a square of omega. So this is the magnitude of the signal. So in phase phase of the signal mag modulus of angle of x of omega equal to the tan inverse of tan inverse of x of j omega by real part of omega imaginary part by real part. So this is the signal having the real part and imaginary part. So whenever apply the Fourier transform, the magnitude spectrum is the even nature. The magnitude spectrum, the magnitude spectrum is even nature. And phase spectrum is the odd nature. Phase phase spectrum is the odd nature. Suppose if you observe the one waveform, one signal x of t equal to e power minus a t u of t. So this is the signal x of t signal x of t equal to the e power minus a t u of t. This is the signal. The signal is uh, exists the Fourier transform. So some of the signals are not existed the Fourier transform. Those signals are suppose x of t equal to the x of t equal to the 1 by t 1 by t x of t equal to 1 by t this type of signal is not possible to transform the signal so because of a time t equal to 0 1 by 0 is the infinity so signal is not a finite signal is not a converge so so this why the signal is the not not possible to apply the transform next uh, second one is the x of t equal to the u of t x of t equal to the u of t this signal also not possible to apply the Fourier transform because of u of t signal. u of t signal is considered as the u of t equal to the unit step signal u of t equal to the 1 for t is greater than or equal to 0. u of t equal to 0 for t is less than 0. So the signal nature is unit step signal for x of t the amplitude of signal is 1. This is the nature of the u of t signal. So integration of this signal, integration of this signal means nothing but the area of this signal. So integration of this signal is nothing but area of the signal. If you find out the area, find out the area, this is the infinity. So signal is not a converge. So that is why this is the not possible to find out the Fourier transform. Suppose integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t dt, x of t dt. So here signal is right sided signal. If of t is if of t equal to 1 for t is greater than 0 u of t equal to 0 t less than 0. So the limits are this is the right side it's infinity x of t x of t amplitude of the signal is 1 dt. Suppose apply the integration t apply the limit 0 to infinity. So apply the upper limit minus lower limit this is the infinity. So area of the signal area of the signal is infinity. So this type of signals are not possible to transform the Fourier transform does not exist this type of signals. So 1 by t, 1 by t, the signal nature is 1 by t signal, the signal nature is a time t equal to 0 that is infinity, a time t equal to infinity the value is 0. Again after after some time period time t equal to 0 at infinity. So this is this type of signals, this type of signals not possible to find out the Fourier transform. So another one is uh, finite number of discontinuities, signal having the finite number of discontinuities. Suppose this is the signal, the signal having this type of discontinuities and again this type of discontinuities. So this type of signals also not possible the, to find out the Fourier transform. Next, so check this one. First one is x of t equal to e power minus a t u of t. This signal is possible the Fourier transform because of this signal is satisfied the, all the digital conditions. x of t equal to the e power minus a t u of t. So u of t means the right sided signal u e power minus a t. e power minus a t is the signal nature is the exponentially decaying signal. The signal nature is exponentially decaying signal. Exponentially decaying signal. At time t equal to the 0, at time t equal to 0, e power 0, e power 0 is the 1. At time t equal to the infinity, e power minus infinity is the 0. So exponential decaying signal. If you find out the area of the signal, find the area of the signal. So that means integration of 0 to infinity because of signal is right sided signal e power minus a t into u of t. u of t means 0 to infinity dt. This so is magnitude of this signal. So this one is the, we find out the area. We find out the area, this is the finite value. It comes the finite value. It comes the finite value. So, so Fourier transform is applicable for the, this signal. So find the Fourier transform. 
So x of t, x of t, Fourier transform of x of t equal to the x of omega, x of omega. So x of omega, Fourier transform of the given signal, integration of minus infinity to infinity, x of t into e power minus j omega t dt, e power minus j omega t dt. So that means integration of signal is minus infinity to infinity, x of t, x of t is e power minus e t into u of t, u of t e power minus j omega t dt. So u of t signal is the right side signal, the limits indicates the 0 to infinity. So limits 0 to infinity, so e power minus e t into e power minus j omega t dt. So apply the in integration of this signal, we will get the 1 by a plus j omega, 1 by a plus j omega. So this is the comp complex nature complex number x of omega x of omega equal to the 1 by a plus j omega 1 by a plus j omega so what about magnitude of the spectrum magnitude x of omega equal to the 1 by square root of a square plus omega square a square plus omega square this is the magnitude phase phase is the x of omega equal to the minus tan inverse, minus tan inverse, imaginary part by real part, omega by a, omega by a. So, if you observe the frequency spectrum in graphical representation and also phase spectrum in graphical representation, check this one. So, this is the magnitude x of omega, at omega equal to 0, so this one is the omega, this is the x of omega. At omega equal to the 0, at omega equal to 0, 1 by square root of a square, 1 by square root of a square, uh, square and root also cancel, that is the 1 by a. At omega equal to 0, 1 by a. At omega equal to the infinity, infinity plus something, that is the infinity, 1 by infinity is 0. So, at infinity, this value is 0. Next, at omega equal to the minus infinity, omega equal to the minus infinity, minus infinity whole square, that is the infinity square. 1 by infinity plus something infinity, 1 by infinity nothing but 0. So that means at minus infinity this value is 0 and plus infinity this value also 0. So the frequency spectrum, the magnitude of the spectrum is this nature. So already previously I told that thing. So magnitude of the frequency spectrum is the even nature. So what is the even nature? So at suppose at time t equal to 0, so this signal is, if you fold this signal at time t equal to 0, Symmetrical about the vertical axis, symmetrical about the vertical axis, that signal is the even signal. So, in case odd nature, in signal is odd nature, at omega equal to the a, at omega equal to the a, this one is the minus 5 by 4, omega equal to a, so tan, uh, tan inverse 1, tan inverse 1 is minus 5 by 4, next omega equal to the minus a, omega equal to minus a, so this one also 5 by 4. So, the signal nature is, sorry. so this is the A, this one is the minus A. So, this is the omega. So, this is the magnitude, magnitude spectrum is even nature, phase is the odd function. So, even signal and this is the odd signal. So, what is the advantage? So, suppose that omega each and every, this is the continuous spectrum, this is the continuous spectrum, each and every omega value, we have, we have a amplitude value, we have amplitude. So, this one is Fourier transfer, this one is act as a filter also. Next. So, sum of the signals, x of t equal to the e power a t, x of t equal to the e power a t, u of t. So, this one is signal nature is exponentially increasing signal, this is the exponentially increasing signal. So, this one is the t, is x of t, x of t. Put a time t equal to 0, time t equal to e power 0, e power 0, 1. At time t equal to infinity, t equal to infinity, e power infinity, e power infinity, that value is infinity. So, this one is the exponentially increasing function. So, due to this exponential increasing function, the area of the signal, the area of the signal is infinity, the area of the signal is infinity. That means, this is the unstable signal, this is the unstable signal. So, this type of signal is not possible to apply the Fourier transform, to apply, to apply the Fourier transform not possible for this type of signals because of Dirichlet's first condition fail. 
So this one is integration of minus infinity. So this value is infinity. So not a converge, not a converge. So this one is the diverge. So this type of signals are not possible to apply the Fourier transform. So how to this type of signals to convert to convert the frequent uh, frequency domain? So we have a, another technique that is the Laplace transforms. Laplace transforms. Laplace transforms. What is the Laplace transform? So Laplace transform. This is the S domain. X of t is the signal. X of t is the signal. So apply the Laplace transform. This one is converted to S domain. So here S is the complex number. S sigma plus j omega. So real and imaginary part. S equal to sigma plus j omega. This is the S plane. So X of S equal to the sorry. Next, X of S, X of S means Laplace transform, X of S equal to the integration of minus infinity to infinity, X of T into e power minus S T dt. This is the Laplace transform of the signal. So how to possible this type of signals? How to possible this type of signals? This is the unstable signal, e power at e of t. This type of, how to possible Laplace transform for this type of signals? So this one is the unbounded signal, means unstable signals. So unstable signals are not possible to Fourier transform, but Laplace transform is existed. So here also any of the signal, any of the signal apply the Laplace transform, here also Dirichlet's condition must satisfied. So here first condition is the modulus of X of t, modulus of X of t into e power minus S t dt. So e power minus S t dt. This must be converge. So, but how this one is converge? How this one this is a converge? Suppose here integration of minus infinity to infinity modulus of x of t into e power minus s s equal to sigma plus j omega sigma plus sigma plus j omega sigma plus j omega dt. So here x of t, x of t into e power minus sigma t into e power minus j omega t dt. So x of t into e power minus sigma t modulus of e power minus j omega t dt. Integration of minus infinity to infinity. So here e power minus magnitude of e power minus j omega t. So by Euler's theorem, this one is the uh, unity. E power minus j omega t. You can write e power minus j omega t equal to the cos omega t minus j sin omega t. So magnitude of e power minus j omega t, magnitude of e power minus j omega t equal to the magnitude of cos omega t minus j sin omega t. So this one is the square root of cos square theta plus sin square theta, cos square omega t plus sin square omega t. So this value is 1. So this is the 1. So any of the signal exists in Laplace transform that must be satisfied the integration of minus infinity to infinity modulus of x of t into e power minus sigma t dt. This condition must be satisfied. Whenever this condition is satisfied, so Laplace transform also existed. So what is the here sigma? Sigma is the damping factor. Sigma is the damping factor. So x of t signal is the exponential rising signal. Suppose x of t is considered this signal e power at e of t. So x of t is rising signal, e power minus sigma t, this is the decaying signal. This is a rising signal, this is a decaying signal. So multiplication of rising signal and decaying signal, so signal must be converge. x of t equal to the e power minus a t, sorry, e power, e power a t u of t, e power a t u of t. This signal is exponentially rising signal, this signal exponential rising signal, e power a t u of t. Next, our signal is e power minus sigma t, e power minus sigma t. So if sigma t, if sigma is greater than 0 or sigma is less than 0, whatever it may be, suppose uh, e power minus sigma t is the exponential decaying signal, e power minus sigma t, at time t equal to 0, 1, at time t equal to infinity, e power minus infinity is 0. So what about 
e power a t into e power minus sigma t. x of t e power a t into e power minus sigma t. So, multiplication both these signals, multiplication both these signals, so this value is 1. So, multiplication both these signals at time t equal to 0, 1 into 1, 1 into 1 that value is 1, 1 into 1 that value is 1. Next, this value is at time t equal to the infinity, at time t equal to the infinity, this value is 0, at time t equal to the infinity, this value amplitude is the infinity. So, this is a this is a maximum value, this is the maximum value, this is the minimum value. So, maximum value multiplied with the minimum value, so this one is 0. So, entire signal e power a t e of e power minus sigma t, this signal is exponentially decaying signal. So, exponential decaying signal. So, that is why e power a t e of t, Fourier transform is not possible, but Laplace transform is existed due to the this factor. So, how much, how much sigma values, how much sigma values this signal is existed. Suppose sigma is greater than 0, sigma is greater than 0. So, this is the positive value e power my, sigma is greater, sigma considered as the, suppose sigma is considered as the plus 2. So, minus into e power minus 2t, e power minus 2 is decaying signal. So, suppose sigma is greater than 0, the signal is possible. Suppose sigma is less than 0, sigma is less than 0, that indicates sigma is considered as the minus 2. So, sigma is considered as the minus 2 minus into minus plus e power 2t. So, at that case, at the e power 2t, e power 2t, at that case, this is also exponential rising signal. So, e power a t exponential rising signal, e power 2t exponential rising signal. Suppose, if sigma is less than 0, sigma is less than 0, so Laplace transform, Laplace transform also not possible, sigma less than 0. Only sigma is greater than 0, sigma is greater than 0, Laplace transform is possible, Laplace transform is possible. So, that is why range of S values, range of S values, X of S is the final, that is the reason of convergence. So, sigma, all, all values of sigma not existed the Laplace transform, some limited values, some limited values exist, the signal is converted to infrequency domain. Suppose sigma is greater than 0, Laplace transform exists, sigma less than 0, Laplace transform also not possible. Next, suppose integration of minus infinity to infinity, relation between Fourier transform and Laplace transform also, x of t into e power minus s t dt, s t dt. So, this signal you can write minus infinity to infinity x of t, x of t into e power minus sigma t into e power here s equal to sigma plus j omega, s equal to sigma plus j omega. So, e power minus sigma t into e power minus j omega t dt. Suppose sigma equal to the 0, suppose sigma equal to 0, e power 0 1, e power 0 is 1, integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t, x of t into e power minus j omega t dt. Suppose sigma equal to 0, Fourier transform is equal to the Laplace transform. Sigma equal to 0, Fourier transform is equal to the Laplace transform. So, so here Fourier transform is equal to Laplace transform, but this type of signals is the Fourier transform is not possible. But only this condition, sigma is greater than 0, Fourier tra Laplace transform is possible. So, that is the reason of convergence. Reason of convergence means, reason of convergence, the range of S values, the range of S values, Laplace transform x, x of S, range of S values, Laplace transform of x of s is finite, is, that is the reason of convergence. Suppose e power a t, e power a t u of t, the Laplace transform is 1 by s minus a, the Laplace transform is 1 by s minus a. So, real part of s minus a, real part of s minus a is greater than 0. So, that means real part of s, s equal to the sigma plus j omega. So, real part of s means sigma. So, that means sigma is greater than 0. Sigma is greater than 0, e power a t u of t 1 by s minus a Laplace transform when sigma is greater than 0. So, this is the reason of convergence. So, in the same way, e power minus plus 2 t u of t, e power 2 t u of t. So, this value is 1 by s minus 2. 
So sigma sigma is greater than zero. Sigma is greater than zero. So the signal is existed only sigma is greater than zero. Suppose sigma is less than two. This is the uh, Dirichlet's first condition is fails. So signal uh, signal is not a converse. Signal is diverge. So this is the reason of convergence. Next. So Laplace transform applications. Generally, Laplace transform are used to find out the analog filters. So by using Laplace transforms, you are using analog filters. Suppose if you consider as the this is the RC RC circuit. This is the RC circuit. So this is the input voltage. This is the output voltage. So so in S domain, S domain you are consider as the C equal to the one by S C. This is the R. So V not equal to the V I into one by S C by R plus one by S C. So this is the transfer function. By using Laplace transform, go for the transfer function. V not by V I. V not by V I equal to the 1 by sc by r plus 1 by sc so that means 1 by rcs plus 1 1 by rc divided by s plus 1 by rc if you common rc 1 by rc by s plus 1 by 1 by rc so this one is the uh, rc low pass filter at omega equal to 0 at omega equal s, s equal to the nothing but s equal to the Sigma plus J omega, if you consider the J omega, at omega equal to 0, 1 by RC by 1 by RC. So that is the cancel 1. So if you write the function, this is the omega, this is the transfer function, E naught by VA. So at omega equal to 0, 1 by RC by 1 by RC, this value is 1. At omega equal to the infinity, 1 by infinity, 0. So this one is the, at omega infinity, this goes to the infinity. So this is the low pass filter, this is the low pass filter. By using Laplace transforms, so you can get the system stability, you can get the system stability, you can get the transfer functions. So this type of uh, analog filter designs, analog, type, analog filter designs, how much uh, the system will be stable. So that is the concept of pole zero concept. So based on the pole zero concept also, we can estimate the uh, system stability. So suppose uh, e power a t e of t. So this is the one by s minus a, one by s minus a. Suppose this is the pole. If you consider as the pole zero plot, pole zero plot. So at s equal to the a, this is the s plane. This is the s plane. At s equal to the, a, this is the pole at s equal to the. A. So this type of signals. If pole is right sided signal, the system is always unstable. Pole is left sided, the signal is the stable signal. So here pole is the right sided signal. Right sided signal means, so we can write the pole zero plot. This one is 1 by, this is S, 1 by S minus A. So in, apply the inverse Laplace transform, E power, this comes E power AT. So E power AT, at time T equal to 0, 1, at time T equal to infinity, this is the infinity. So signal is the, area of the signal is infinity. So this type of signals, this type of poles are, uh, this type of signals are unstable signals. So poles also right side the poles. So system stability depends upon the poles. In case poles are left sided, poles are left sided, system is stable. So that means suppose this one is the, this is the S plane, this is the pole, pole. If you write the transfer function, this one is the 1 by S minus 2, 1 by S minus 2. If you apply the inverse Laplace transform, this one is the e power minus 2t. Apply the inverse Laplace transform, e power minus 2t. So if you uh, plot the e power minus 2t signal at time t equal to 0, time t equal to 0, e power 0, 1. So, but in case pole is left sided signal, so this is considered as the pole at a, at a 2. So, this is S plane sigma plus j omega. So, apply the transfer function about this pole. So, this one is uh, x of s, x of s equal to the 1 by s, s plus 2, x of s equal to 1 by s plus 2. So, here apply the inverse Laplace transform, apply the inverse Laplace transform. So, this is x of t equal to the 1 by s plus 2 e power, this is the minus 2t e power minus 2t. Suppose e power minus 2t, e power minus 2t is the exponentially decaying signal, exponentially decaying signal. So this one is the t, this is the signal x of t. Suppose put at time t equal to 0, time t equal to 0, e power 0, 1, at time t equal to the infinity, e power minus infinity, e power minus infinity is 0. So if integration of this signal, if you find out the integration, the signal is finite, this is the finite signal. So and also this is a stable signal also. So system stability depends upon the system poles. So poles are left sided, system stable, what is the marginally stable. Next, 
So this entire concept is the analog filters, analog filters designs and system stability. So next go for then another transformation is the Z transform. What is the Z transform? What is the difference between Laplace transform, Z transform and uh, Fourier transform? Suppose Fourier transform, Fourier transform x of omega equal to the integration of minus infinity infinity. x of t into e power minus j omega t dt. This is the Fourier transform. So, if you consider the Laplace transform, x of s, Laplace transform s domain, integration of minus infinity to infinity, x of t into e power minus s t dt. So, z transform, in z transform, x of n, z transform is considered as the x of n, x of z equal to the sigma n equal to the minus infinity to infinity, x of n into z power minus n. So, in case here s equal to the sigma plus j omega, if you substitute sigma plus j omega, if sigma equal to 0, s equal to the j omega. If sigma equal to 0, s equal to j omega, that means Fourier transform equal to the Laplace transform. So, what is the relation between Laplace transform and z transform? If you observe these signals, the Laplace transform is uh, used for analog filters and analog design. So, z transform, z transform is used for discrete type signals, discrete type signals are digital filters. By using jet transforms, we can realize the digital filters also. So, if observe this one, sigma, sigma for discrete signals, integration for analog signals. Integration is nothing but area, you sum up up to these limits, this one also area. So, this is sum of this signals, S summation for discrete signals, integration for continuous time signals. Suppose, integration equal to the summation. Next, x of t, t, T is the time domain signal, continuous time signals. Continuous time signals, we are using the T. Discrete time signals, we are using the N. So, that means N equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 something. So, T is the continuous time signal. This is the N is the discrete time signals. Next, so what about this relation? E power, e power minus ST. E power minus ST, this one is indicates the Z power minus N. Z power minus N. So that means t equal to the n e power s e power minus e power s whole power minus n e power s minus t considers the minus n. So this one is the z power minus n. So that is the z equal to the e power s z equal to the e power s. This is the relation between Laplace transform and z transform. And one more thing, S equal to the sigma plus j omega. S is a complex number. So, this is the sigma plus j omega rectangular form. So, rectangular form means the axis also rectangular nature, S plane. So, Z, Z is the polar form. Z equal to the R into e power j omega. Z equal to the R into e power j omega. Here, R is the radius. R is the radius. E power j omega. E power j omega is the phase. So, if compare both the equations, R, R equal z equal to the r into e power j omega r into e power j omega instead of z we write this one next e power s z equal to the r into e power j omega e power s e power s equal to the sigma plus j omega sigma plus j omega that means r into e power j omega e power sigma into e power j omega so e power j omega e power j omega cancel r equal to the e power sigma r equal to the e power sigma Suppose sigma equal to the 0, since sigma equal to the 0, so r equal to the e power 0, so that means 1, that means the r equal to the 1 means that is the radius, radius of the circle, so radius of the circle, suppose this z plane and s plane, so how to find out the reason of convergence z, z plane and s plane, so z plane, suppose if you consider the s plane, s plane, this is sigma, this is j omega, next z plane, z plane, so this one is the real part and this is the real part, this is the imaginary part, real part of z and imaginary part of z. So sigma, at sigma equal to 0, sigma equal to 0, this one is the, sorry, sigma equal to 0, this is the vertical strip, suppose sigma equal to the 1, sigma equal to, suppose sigma equal to 3, these are the vertical strips. Next, if 
here z equal to the e power sigma. So, sigma equal to 0, sigma equal to 0, this is the imaginary axis, sigma equal to 0, this is the 1. So, z equal to the 1, z equal to the 1 means suppose in complex nature x plus jy equal to the 1. So, magnitude of z, magnitude of z equal to the uh, x square, square root of x square plus y square, square root of x square plus y square equal to the 1 square. So, squaring both sides, uh, x square plus y square equal to the 1. So, this is nothing but circle equation, x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square. So, that means radius of the 1, uh, x minus h, h comma k is the origin, h equal to 0, k equal to 0, h comma k is 0, r equal to the 1. So, the nature is the circle, the nature is the circle, at sigma equal to 0, the nature is the circle. So, this radius equal to the 1. System stability depends upon the, suppose poles are the left side the signal, poles are the left side the axis, so the system stable. Here, poles are inside the unit circle, system stable. Poles are inside the unit circle, system stable. So, over here, poles, poles are uh, right sided, poles are right sided, system unsafe, unstable. So, here also, outside the unit circle, any of the place, outside the unit circle, so system is unstable. So, based on the Laplace transform and jet transform, both are same. For Laplace transform, useful for the analog filters and analog circuits. Jet transform is for only digital circuits. So, uh, system stability. So, he, he, here, here also reason of convergence. So, suppose signal is uh, one side is a signal, signal having two sided signals, signal having both these signals, these type of signals. So, based on nature of the signals, the reason of convergence also change. Suppose x of t signal, x of t signal, x of t equal to the uh, e power minus 2t plus e power minus 3t. So, this is the combination of right sided signals, combination of signals. So, e power minus 2t, e power minus 3t. So, apply the Laplace transform, x of s equal to the 1 by s plus 2 plus 1 by s plus 3. So, these are poles are the, this is the minus 2, uh, another pole is the minus 3. So, signal is, this is the signal, right sided signal. e power minus 2t means right sided signal, e power minus 3t means right sided signal. So, the reason of convergence, which one is, which one is the reason of convergence? So, Signal is right sided signal that is sigma is greater than minus 2, sigma is greater than minus 3. So, if you consider the individual RVCs, this one is the minus 2, this is the minus 3. This is the reason of convergence for this minus 2, next, this is the reason of convergence plus 2. So, here main property, reason of convergence does not include any pole, reason of convergence does not include any pole. Suppose if you pole is existed in x of s, suppose this one is the at, at minus 3, sigma is greater than minus 3, suppose consider as the these lines, so the, this area, this pole is existed, suppose this is a minus 2, s equal to minus 2, substitute here s equal to minus 2, 1 by minus 2 plus 2, 1 by infinity plus something, infinity x of s is the diverge. So, here condition is the reason of convergence does not include any pole. So, so the, what about the overall ROC, this is the combination signal, the overall ROC. The overall ROC is, these are the properties of reason of convergence. The overall ROC is sigma is greater than sigma maximum, suppose right side is signal. Sigma is right side, combination of right side signals, sigma is greater than sigma maximum. Here compared to minus 3 comma minus 2, so minus 2 is the maximum value. So, here overall reason of convergence is sigma is minus 2. That means intersection area, this is intersection area is the overall reason of convergence. Poles are left side the uh, imaginary axis that is the stable. Here inside the unit circle that is the stable. Outside the uh, unit circle that is the unstable. So these are the Laplace transform generally used for analog filter designing. Jet transform is used for the digital filter design. So both are the uh, almost concept is similar. For uh, this, this one is a continuous time signal. This is a discrete time signals. Thanks.